Welcome back everybody for another episode of Fallout 4. We're gonna be doing Story of the Century. We're gonna have to go to Piper's office. We're back here at Diamond City. I decided to actually pick up a few weapons, see more or less what what was what. Sold a few things, as you can tell, and he got four caps. But I picked up something that seemed to be pretty worthwhile. Let's see where if I can find it. Here you go, Old Faithful. It's a pistol that does a, it's a laser pistol that does 46 in damage, but does double damage if the target is at full health. So this is pretty, it should be pretty neat using at least for the initial and then switching over for another weapon. But we'll see how it goes. I haven't been, um, uh, I still haven't gone out and actually modified it as of yet. I just want to see what was the damage as is and then seeing from there if it's actually worthwhile or not. But without any of those things, I picked up quite a few I have to equip now this thing as I picked it up from the last place. So now, right now, I'm defense at 67 and in range 37. So, not eh, doing too well in the range aspect. So, I should actually, or is that energy? That might be energy. Yeah. All right. So, I don't want to hear about anybody getting bit. Let's see. Where am I going? Should be somewhere. No. Am I going the wrong way? Yes. Put that away. Let's actually equip that weapon. Now that I think about it, I don't think I have it equipped. Uh, Old Faithful. Right? Where are we gonna toss this? This is the the pistol. The revolver is actually pretty sweet. That just does a lot of damage. I just put this guy right on top. There we go. Read the public and be prepared. Read the paper, Mister. Philosophy. Hey, Nat. Public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. All right, that's it. That's a uh, Piper's sister, I'm assuming. Remember, the mayor talk was talking about it. So let's see what this side of the story commences. All right, where are we? Can I actually loot everything here? No, I cannot. Apparently, it's considered an evil thing. Little cars. All right, let's talk to you, Miss Piper. Hey, Piper. Glad you dropped by. Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and the fish out of water look dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Um, what's involved? What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, down to the point. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Uh, I guess we should be truthful, I guess. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yep. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Gives me hope. It sucks. Fun destroy. Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Might be. I don't... I really don't know, actually. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. 
What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Uh, people ignore kidnappers one day at a time. Get revenge. Don't lose hope. No matter how much you want to give up, you don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. All right, so it seems like Piper can now be a companion. Let's take her. Let's do a switcheroo. Piper. Head my way? Yep. Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh. oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Um, I want to take you back to Sanctuary Hill. Yes, I want to send dog meat over there. Know if there's anything I can do to lighten Wait. the load. Wait. Hey, no. boy. You need anything for Fred? Let's Mind trade. If we swap some things around, dog meat. I think I don't think you have anything. No. Oh, I feel kind of bad. <laughs> oh man. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. All right. You should be fine. All right. Can I actually start snatching things in here now? Yes, I can. Dirty water. It's always good. Carrots. Dirty. Oh, dirty water. I can convert these into uh, distilled water. Right away down there. Anything else I can snatch here? Right, that seemed like but pretty much this mission was just only to pick up uh, Piper as a companion Certainly seen better days, haven't it? Wow, okay well, I thought the storyline would go a little bit further, but it seems like I'll just take Piper for now uh, Pi Big, loud, full of corrupt officials and citizens but it's home. Oh. Let's We're see. Here we call your haircut the scab special. A little flex of blood, give it a personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. What are my options? You name it. Shaves. Uh-huh. Yeah. Be easier just to show you. Sure. <laughs> That'd be great. But I'm low. Well, whenever your fortunes turn around. Oh, haha. <laughs> I can't actually get a haircut because I don't have enough money. All right. So like I said, I purchased a few I'm things. I'm telling you how to pick your friends. Piper's kind of a troublemaker. Excuse me. You're bothering me. Don't bother you. Okay, douchebag McGee. All right. Let's see what. I thought this mission was gonna go a little bit further, but. Hello. Uh, let's just do the next the next mission. The, the, uh, let's go to Valentine's. Hey, how about I introduce you to my confidential informant? Next oh, Takahashi. Play. Thank you for meeting me here. Nani, shimasuka? No. Well, we've been traveling together for ages. Nani, shimasuka? That, sorry, Blue. Everyone the jig is up. Takahashi told me everything. Web of lies? Gone. I mean, I bet you it's not even Blue, is it? Right. All right, let's go to Valentine's uh, office. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Need a new Coca Cola. All right. Hey, Sheffield. So thirsty. New Coca Cola. I'll give you a new Coca Cola, man. Here you go. Here you go. Real sweet of you. <gasps> ah, thank you. Thank you. There you go. There you go, buddy. Hey, it seems like Piper liked that. Let's go back to the the, the love detective. Check out, see what. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Don't you worry. Happy to do it. Yeah? 
Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, all right. if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. All right, let's take a seat. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. All right, describe the murder, describe Vault 111, describe Sean, describe the kidnappers. Yes, we can. Uh, let's describe the... the let's describe. a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? Describe Shayna. Describe the murderer. Um. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they. They just. It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold hearted killers. Waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? I. We're looking for my son. I don't think Vault 111 has anything to do. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Um, let's try the so Institute. you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Uh, you're a prototype? You're a prototype? As far as I know, never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You're one of them. Don't know anything. Finding shot. Either way, I need to find shot. Yeah, Sean. I don't want right. to point the finger. Speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Describe outfits, bald and scarred. Distinctive voice. I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Uh, not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? Let's uh, describe the outfits. The woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? Uh, carried a gun. I think everyone One carries a gun. Right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Uh, hmm. Did I remember? I think I did. Ah, he's probably... I might have. Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's 
Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Hmm. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. All right. Oh. You've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Hope you and Nick find that monster. Thank you. Hey. Shoot, what's going on? Relationship. Thoughts? Your thoughts? Anything I can do? You just say the word. I was just wondering where you and I stand. It's hard to say at the moment. I think I need you to show me you're not just out here for yourself. Nothing else for now. All right. All right. So she's more. She's more of the like the good Samaritan approach. Nothing like towards me or anything. Like that. So that means I can't be asking for for rewards and stuff. Which I don't think I've been doing that. But I think you should know everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance. Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies because they're all dead. Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later. Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. All right, so I guess. I'm assuming this is his house since it's the only one in the area. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. Alright. It's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Haha, -ha, master, of course I can open it, man. Don't you worry. That should probably be a little bit higher. Ha! Sweet. That's right. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Alright, first before that, let's just snoop around here, pick up this glue. They seem small to you. Figured a guy Born. Like Kellogg would think big. Born, dust, coffee pot, cooking pants, handcuffs. What kind of kinky stuff have you been getting into, Kellogg's? Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? I'm assuming something with the desk. That's fine. I'm, can't you see I'm snooping around, Nick? You can't. You, you can't notice that. No. Well, that's one way to hide a room. All right. Let's just take the stim packs. Ooh, some Nuka Colas. Quantum Colas. Fusion. Short uh, pipe a grenade. All I'll of take that. Why not? Favorite things. Take some ammunition. Some more. I'm just gonna just take. Oh, dirty water. What's this over here? Purify water. Hey, Valentine. Check out what's on that table. Purify water. No, I don't want to pickpocket you, man. <sighs> God dang it. Really, get move. Potato chips. 
Oh my god, okay. Never mind. Iguana bites. Cherry cola. Instant smash. I just take them, just. Sugar bombs. Pork and beans. Gas canister. Cherry cola. Alright. What's what's here? Beans. Oil can. No idea what that is. Alright, what am I taking here? Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Uh, by scent? Ah, use dog meat? I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Let's see your advice. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. <sighs> who do I want? I don't know. I might need your help on this one, but maybe I should go on my own. If you need me, just come knocking. If not, then the next time I see you, I hope it's with your son, safe and sound. Nick's available to be your companion, okay. I don't know, should I, should I take him? Nick. Time to hit the road? Yeah, you know what, let me, let me. Not now. Not now. Well, I'll be around if you change your mind. Mm-hmm. I'll just take her for now. All right, let's go. I, I, I gotta switch out for dog meat, I think, right? Good to be back in Diamond City. Hey. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? All right. So. Well, it seems like this episode is was mostly talking, so Alright. That being said, it seems like we're about to start the next mission, so thank thank you very much guys for watching. If you like, please like, favorite, and subscribe. There'll be plenty more of Fallout 4, but until then, have a nice day.